Pow, we're live streaming. Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, I'm going to try to focus on this video. I'm going to try to be to the point and direct. I worked 100 hours <laughs> this week, so um, and I have a ton of projects, but I thought that this video was important and it's, uh, it's very time sensitive, so that's why I'm here early morning doing this video to ask you guys for help and to ask you guys to sign this petition. Now, let me give you a little bit of background story. Um, as to what's going on, the story behind this child. I'm going to read you this news article. Basically, this born, this this born, this child was born without kidneys. Okay, he's two years old now. They've been waiting for a long time on the list to get kidneys. So let me just read you the story. Uh, Two-year-old boy Georgia, born without kidneys, found a perfect match in his father. But a plan for a kidney transplant that could have been that could have helped the boy live a normal and healthy life was unexpected healthy life was unexpectedly delayed after the father was arrested last month while well, anthony dickerson 26 was released from jail october 2nd a day before son aj's scheduled surgery the boy's fate remains in limbo the family says because of the apparent red tape between the police and the hospital um let me just scroll down a little bit uh, well she said here we've been waiting for so long and we were right at the door at the front door uh dickerson who was on probation and I, I'd like to hear you guys' opinion on this, on how you feel about this story. Um, and, but if you share the same sentiments that I do, please sign that petition below. I sign up for it. I'll show you guys how to sign up to that petition to help them out. They're at 52,000 supporters. They have a goal of 55,000. Now, I'm not saying that this um, petition is going to save this kid's life but it could potentially save this child's life and all you have to do is sign the petition and we can make a difference i have a small little platform here and i wanted to spread this out to you guys and hopefully one day i'll have an even bigger platform that uh when things like this happen i could just make a video and we get like thousands of people uh to petition so but let me continue on with the story um so the guy he was arrested he got out and he was on probation he has a history of theft forgery charges uh was arrested on september 28th after the police of gwinnett county outside atlanta found him in possession of a firearm and said he fled officers the next day burgess said she notified the police to say that her son was going to have a kidney transplant and that dickerson was a donor in the meantime burgess and emory because okay so there's you got you got the mom you got the hospital and then you have the prison that this guy was in okay so there's like a whole thing going on here um emory hospital university hospital where the surgery was scheduled sent a letter to gwinnett county jail asking for dickerson to be escorted to emory for the necessary pre-surgery blood work okay so everything seems fine right uh if this is not a possibility we will need to reschedule the surgery a hospital official wrote the gwinnett county sheriff's office said that in the statement to nbc news that it did acknowledge the letter and that it worked very diligently to ensure that dickerson could be freed before october 3rd surgery deputy shannon added that one of dickerson's bomb was even lowered uh, by a judge for 2000 to help him so i mean that's kind of cool they lowered the uh bail um you know, this kind of makes me think of two in the Bible. Oops, sorry about that. In the Bible, that it says, um, how's that saying go? The, the father's son, no, the, the, the father's sins come to visit upon the son. Something like that. Meaning that the sins that the parent did comes to visit upon your child. And Lord knows I've done a bunch of like, hor like, not horrible, but bad stuff back in the day. And I hope that one day doesn't come to haunt me. But this is kind of an example of that, that your actions as a parent affect your child, you know. Um, so let me keep going on with this. But while everything seemed to be fine, uh, but everything seemed to be on course to have AJ's surgery, Berger said the hospital's transplant center sent a puzzling letter halting the operation. In the letter... Emory said that it wanted evidence that Dickerson was complying with his parole officer for the next three months. After that, a doctor said he could be reevaluated for a transplant program in January. It's unclear why the hospital changed the plan. In a later statement, Emory spokesman said its guidelines for organ transplants designed to maximize the chances of success and to minimize the risk of living donors. Transplant decisions regarding donors are made based on many medical, social, and psychological factors. The, hosp the hospital declined to comment on Dickerson's case. Meanwhile, 
uh, Dickerson told whatever that is, WXIA, that his son still needs a transplant and that he shouldn't suffer for the sins. That, and just like I was saying, this is my first time reading this article to you guys. There's a saying in the Bible that the father's sins come to visit upon. What is it? I, I forgot the exact saying. Maybe somebody can comment below and tell me the exact saying. But basically, the sins of the parent come to visit upon the child. Um so he said, what did he what did he do to make the mistake? I did nothing, Dickerson added. So I would like to hear your guys' feedback on this because it's a bit controversial. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Sorry about that. Let me switch the view to myself. I want to know what you guys think about this. And like, do you think that the son should be faulted for this? And you know what? I, I hate when it gets to the things like this, like where you got the hospital, you got the jail. It seems like the jail is trying to help out the hospital, but the hospital now has these policy and procedures. And I hate when like all this political stuff goes on when there's a baby hanging on a thread. The baby had to be rushed to the hospital. Let me read this other part here to you guys. What happened? So the baby still doesn't have kitties, right? The baby, you scroll up here. Um, Let's see. Okay, so he was rushed to emergency room Sunday morning after suffering an abdominal infection. So, like, this baby is not doing good, hanging by a thread, in my opinion. They're doing a vigil for the baby soon. I'm not sure what day it is. Um, and I don't know, man. Yo, what's up? Uh, Ricardo's here. He said, most likely some psychologist with nothing to do wanted to play a bigger part in the procedure. I hate psychologists. That's what Ricardo said. Um, oh, sorry. Your thing showed up. For some reason, it's cut off here. You think I'd have this thing figured out. But I'll read to you what Ricardo said. Most likely psychologists with nothing to do wanted to play a bigger part on the procedure. I hate psychologists. Trying to teach a lesson or and rehabilitate the father by teaching him a lesson is horrible. Yeah, I agree, man. Um, there's a I put a petition. I already signed it. I put the link in the description below. Like, I'm super tired. I've been doing a ton of overtime, but I thought like this video was kind of important, and um, people could just sign the petition and maybe help have a chance to get this kid, uh, his dad's kidney. You know, I mean, and I feel like regardless of what the father's done, and you know, regardless of the situation. They should try to help this kid out. But I know because I work in a hospital myself that there's a ton of politics. And a lot of times people's lives get lost in these politics. When all they have to do is, I mean, the jail said it was okay. Take the father, get the kidney. If you want to lock him back up or whatever, let lock him back up or whatever. But to have this baby just with no kidneys sitting there and potentially die. And, you know, I recently did a video, too, on Charlie Gard, and this kid passed away. I think he was in the UK, and this kid had some sort of disease or something. And I forgot I forgot the exact disease, but the hospital refused to let the parents take the child out of the hospital. And the parents had no say. And there was other hospitals and people in the U.S., even Trump was like, send him over here. We'll try to do what we can. The hospital refused. They had to go to court and everything. Since when does the government tell you what to do with your child and what kind of care? And if you bring your child to the hospital, your child may not be able to come back out. So, like, I, I feel like we're seeing more and more cases of this where the government tells you what kind of health or what kind of care you can provide for your child and you have no choice. So sign the petition, man. I put the link in the video description. All you got to do is put your name. I think you put your address, maybe your email, and you just sign it. They're already at uh, 52000 Just get them 55000 If you guys could help out, I would appreciate that. And that's it. I just want to make this little live stream. And uh, I'm going to try to maybe get some rest because I got to watch my daughter today. And I'm tired. And yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining, Ricardo. Most people are going to catch the rebroadcast on this. I didn't expect anybody to be up at... 5 40 in the morning i don't know why you're up at 5 40 in the morning <laughs> but um yeah man i hope things work out for this kid and i and like i said i hope that one day i could have like enough influence to actually um be like hey there's a petition here and like fifty thousand people just signed the petition you know <sighs> so i know who you are man 
He said the well-being of the patient son should be priority. The mental health of the father should not dictate the care of a child, however. And I feel the same way, man. I agree. But uh, I guess that's just how life is, man. And it sucks. And hopefully they will be able to overlook this. But it's just another thing to think about how that saying goes. You know, the sins of the father come to visit upon the son. You know, that's exactly kind of what's happening here. You know, and I don't want to. I feel like this is not really about the dad. It's about the baby. But at the same time, like your baby needs a uh, transplant. What are you doing? Forgery, doing forgery, thieving, stealing, whatever it is you're doing. You know, why are you doing that shit? Like, I, oh, damn it. <laughs> YouTube demonetized. I'm mean, not curse on here, but uh, I just I don't know. This is about the kid, though. It's not even focused about on the father. Um, and let's just, you know, try to sign the petition and maybe get him some help. But thanks for watching, guys. I have a video coming out today. I have a video for the next couple of days. I have a ton of videos that I need to do. But this is one of those time-sensitive videos that I just did a live stream and called it a day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Make sure you join that giveaway that I'm doing, the Amazon giveaway. Uh, two people already won the other pre-workout videos. And just, yeah, keep supporting. We're at 522 subscribers. Let's get to 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. I'm out.